Lola and Lily, come and join the fun. Mama and Papa go hee hee and ha ha, so welcome everyone. Lola and Lily love to act silly and have adventures too. With all their friends and neighbors and Katie, they live in the city and you can join them too. What show? It's about the seasons. And guess what? There's a part in the middle where I get to say a poem all by myself. Wow. And I get to dance. No, you don't, Lola. Miss Emily said it was my solo. Well, this is exciting news, Lily. You know, it's almost as exciting as the two pieces of chocolate I have in my pocket. Ha, ah, chocolate. <laughs> Okay, Lily, you ready to rehearse your poem? All set, Papa. I'll give you a little introduction. Spring is a sparrow singing her song. Jump, jump, I'm a sparrow, jump, jump. Lola, what are you doing? I'm a sparrow, jump, jump. It. Papa, she's ruining my poem. Lola, why don't you sit here next to me? Let's let your sister practice her poem, okay? Sorry. All right, let's continue. Sheep graze in summer and play with the lambs. <laughs> Lola! I'm a lamb! <laughs> Papa! Lola, Lily needs to practice her poem or she won't be ready when she goes on stage. Sorry, I feel bad! Your sister needs to practice. Come on, why don't you and I go play in the other room? Okay. I'm sorry, Lily. Welcome, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads, friends and families. We are proud to present the Four Seasons of the Year. Lily. Spring is, uh, spring is... Jump, 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 jump. Oh, Sparrow. Spring is a sparrow singing her song. She chirps to her friends as she's flying along. Snowflake. Oh, wait. 
Peter is a snowflake, swirling and whirling, twisting and turning, and spinning and twirling. <gasps> Ever. Lily, you were wonderful. Thanks, Maman, but I couldn't have done it without Lola. <laughs> it's true, you brought down the house. Yeah, along with the set, the curtains, and all the scenery. Wow, I just wanted to say the show was fantastic, and you were terrific. Oh, gee, what a nice thing to say. Hey, could I have your autograph? Really? Oh, yeah, I want to be able to say I knew a when. Here, could you sign it right there? Thanks, and congratulations again. You're the star now? Yeah! Not bad! <laughs> 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 Lily, don't lick your finger and then touch the fruit. No, I didn't. I touched the plate. It's beautiful. Pell is gonna love this for his birthday. Oh, better hurry. Party's about to start. Who is it? <laughs> Pele, there's a giant fruit tower to see you. Ah! No, it's me, Mrs. Oldstein. Lily. Oh my goodness, I think the giant fruit tower ate Lily. I could only see her legs. Here I am, me too. Oh, we'll come in. Where is everyone? They should be here any minute. You're the first to arrive. We made this for Pele's birthday. It's lovely. Lily licked her finger and then touched the fruit. <laughs> no, I didn't. Let's put it right here. Ooh, what smells so good? Oh, I'm baking Pele's favorite sunflower seed cake for his birthday. Ah! It's almost ready. What's this, Mrs. Oldstein? Oh, that's a music box. See, when I was a little girl like you, my grandfather gave it to me. Does it work? Pretty. What song is it? That's Brahms' lullaby. Because Brahms is the name of the man who wrote the song. Brahms? No, B Brahms with a B. There are three people whose names start with B who are famous for writing beautiful music. Their names are Brahms, Bach, and Beethoven. Well, then I would call the song Brahms' Beautiful Lullaby. Ah, there's the cake. It's done. Ah! I'll be right back. <laughs> That's good, Lola. Lola, 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 It's broken. Uh-oh. What are we going to do? Maybe we can tape the lid back on. Shame on you! Ah. We broke the music box! <gasps> ah, 
Well, that's sweet of you to try and take the blame for Pele, but I saw him break it. You naughty bird. You're gonna have to be punished. No fruit tower for you, and no birthday cake either. Excuse me, I'll be back. Mrs. Oldstein thinks Pele broke the box. But we broke it! But if we tell her, then we'll get in trouble. But Pele's not getting his cake now because of us. I know, but what can we do? Here's everyone else. Happy <laughs> birthday, Pele! Party huh? time! I'm sorry, kids. Pele won't be joining us. He's being punished. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Mrs. Oldstein, I'm sure Pele didn't mean to break your music box. I'm sorry, Lily, but Pele's got to take responsibility for what he did. Maybe it was an accident. Kids, we're going to have to cancel the party. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, we broke the music box! Lola's right. What? Pele didn't break the music box, we did. We were dancing and being silly, and we bumped into each other and it fell on the ground and it broke. But I saw him crash into the lamp. That was after we tried to fix it with tape. Pele picked up the pieces and then got startled when you walked in and crashed into the lamp. I see. We're the ones who shouldn't be going to the party. Come on, Lola. We're sorry. Lily, Lola, I have to say, I'm very, very proud of you. What? You're not mad? The only reason I would be mad is if you didn't tell me the truth. Breaking my music box wasn't good, but telling the truth was. Really? Yes. Does that mean the party's back on? It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! We're sorry for not telling the truth sooner, Pele. Sorry, Pele. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's okay, Pele. Five second rule. Because I'm hungry. No, no. You have to wait to be served. Oh. oh. Now listen. When she offers you the food, make sure you say no thank you. What? But why? It's being polite. In Iran, they call it taraf. Taraf? I never heard of it. It means thinking of others instead of yourself. You don't want my aunt to think the only reason you came over was so she'd feed you, do you? Oh. But if I say no, then how do I eat? Don't worry. Once you refuse, she'll offer it again. In fact, she'll insist. Oh, so first she offers, I say no, then she offers again. Exactly. And that's when I take the food. No, you have to say no again. What? But after you say no the second time, she'll really insist. And I say no again. No, that's when you say yes. Maybe I should go home and eat. Who's hungry? Here we go. We are, Kale! Here you go. Wow. What is this? It's called fis and june. Chicken with crushed walnuts and pomegranate over saffron rice. Wow. Smells great. Here, help yourself. Ahem. Huh? Oh, right. Um, no thank you. Oh, please, I insist. Uh, no, really, I couldn't. Oh, but you must. I insist. You're our guest. 
Well, if you insist. Oh, that is really, really good. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. How about some gourmet sabzi? It's beef stew over rice. I can need another bite. Uh, huh? Kale, Sam would love to try it. I would? I'd love to try it. Wonderful. I'll go get it. What are you doing? I'm full. I don't want any more. You can't refuse a second helping. Why not? Because it's taught off. off. You'll hurt her feelings. This is nuts. No, the nuts are in the fest in June. No, I mean this is nuts. I have to say yes when I mean no, and no when I mean yes? Yes. Oh, brother. Here we go. Mm. Good. Lily Azizam, can you help me clear the table? Sure, Holly. Uh, how am I going to eat all this? <laughs> Kensington. Here, Kensington, eat up. Good boy. My goodness, you finished already? Yep, and it was delicious. Well, have some salmon with dill yogurt. Oh, uh, uh, thanks. You just keep on eating, you hungry boy. Kensington! Here, eat this! Hurry! Come on! I need to get rid of this food! Darn birds. Ugh. Hi, how was lunch? Great, we just finished. Mm. Poor Sam. They must not be feeding him. He ate three helpings. Oh, Aziz, I'm don't use a dish towel to clean off bird poop. Use a paper towel. A bird got him. Oh, here, let me. Yogurt. <laughs> yogurt? But how did it end up on Papa? Huh? Uh, I ate everything on my plate and it was really delicious and you offered me more food and I didn't want to offend you, but I was really full and couldn't eat anymore, so I gave it to Kensington and, and, and he knocked it out of the window and it must have slipped and fallen on you and I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So funny. You. <laughs> you don't have to eat more if you don't want to. I don't? But what about Taraf? Good manners are important, but you don't have to eat if you're full. Oh, thank goodness. You're a good boy, Sam. I think you deserve a treat. How about a cupcake? Oh, no, I, I couldn't. I insist. No, really. Oh, come on. Oh, no, really. Come on. Flight. Oh, I have been sitting for hours. That's why I was thinking about taking my favorite girls on a walk. Let's see, where can we go? The vacuum repair store is always a good time. No! Let's go get ice cream! Of course. 
course. I could use a new tie from the tie shop. Ice cream! Or I suppose we could stick with our tradition of getting ice cream. <laughs> but I was thinking, this time we should find our ice cream in a special way. Were you able to help me with the things we talked about? Mm -hmm. What's Baba up to? Uh, he's definitely up to something. Then let's get out of here. We are going on a treasure hunt. Cool. <laughs> Come on, Baba. Oh, I can't wait for ice cream. You want to know all the flavors, Baba? A is for almond fudge, B is for butterscotch, C is for chocolate chip. Lola, are you doing ice cream ABCs? D is for don't interrupt the ice cream ABCs. <laughs> well, if you want ice cream, then we better get hunting for clues. Ready for the first one? Oh, hiya. Give it to me! Give it to me! Ah, uh, yeah, I can't read. What's it say? It says, I am a Persian carpet, the best carpet in the world. Find me for your next clue. Oh, so we need to find a carpet that's Persian. Like us. We're Persian. That's right. And there are so many wonderful things about being Persian. Really? I wonder what they are. Hmm. Let's see. Where can we find a Persian carpet? Oh, maybe it's in there. In the carpet store. Uh -huh. uh, this it's not one? there. Where is it? What about here? Uh, 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 is this one Persian? Hmm. I don't see a clue. Oh, there's something in the fringe. It's just a price tag. Ahem. May I help you, girls? Yes, please. We're on a treasure hunt with our Bubba. We have to find a Persian carpet with a clue. Oh, a Persian carpet. Oh, well, you won't find one down there. My Persian carpets are much too fine to walk on. Well, if they're not on the floor, then they must be hanging on the walls as decoration. <laughs> <laughs> These are so beautiful. There. I found it. I found it. Does it say where the ice cream is? It says, I am the sparkly sea of light. Find me for your next clue. Sea of light? We have to go all the way to the beach? Hmm. Maybe not. I think I know the general area it's in. Follow me. Thank you. This way. D is for double chocolate. E is for eggnog. F is for... What's that music? Is something going on today? F is for... Surprise! It's the Persian Day Pray. I wanted to bring you so that you could see some of the amazing things about being Persian. Oh, cool. But it would be cooler with some ice cream. First, we have to find the sea of light. Then we'll get another clue to the ice cream. Why don't we watch the floats? And maybe you will see something there. Come on, Baba. And here come the floats. The first float represents Persia's own Cyrus Cylinder, the first declaration of human rights. That sounds important, but nothing sparkly on that float. the 
classic and beloved Persian story, 1001 Nights, with Shazan and King Shalyan. Shiniest part of Persia, the Daryar Yenu. Wait, look, Lily, look at that float. It's so, so sparkly. Yoyanur means sea of light. It's a huge famous Persian diamond. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say sea of light? That's it! The sea of light is a Persian diamond. The best diamond in the world. It's Persian and sparkly, like us. <laughs> Let's go find your clue. Go ahead, ask. Do you have our clue? There's spoons inside. Probably for the ice cream. Look, read it, Lily. It says, you're getting very close now. If you want ice cream, find Falu Day. Falu Day? Who's Falu Day? Better ask around. You look stunned. Yeah. Why don't you sit here and think on it some more? You know what's good about being Persian, Lily? Amazing carpets and diamonds and great stories? Yep. You know what's terrible? Not having ice cream. Yes, all because we can't find follow day. <laughs> Girls, everything okay? Can I help you? No, not unless you're Falu Day. <laughs> no, I'm Azita, but I sell Falu Day. Huh? Here you go, Falu Day. Persian ice cream. Baba, ice, ice so cream. Congratulations, you have found the treasure. Falude. It is made from lime juice, sugar, rose water, and noodles. Noodles? Yes, noodles. It is one of the first frozen desserts from Shiraz and the best ice cream in the world. Why don't you try it and tell me? <laughs> mm, yum! It is the best ice cream. Glad you like it. You have certainly earned it. Hey, I know what F is for. F is for Falu Day. And G is for the greatest grandpa in the world. Now that you know something about your Persian background, why don't we join in the fun? Looks like they finished their treasure hunt. <laughs> he played that game with me too once. Hmm, best follow that I ever ate. 
Well, how about we get some? Look, they're going to the sweets cart. 